Across town at a radio station, dog-loving broadcasters Joe Good and Anna Webb are arriving for work. Joe and Anna are both veteran rock chicks who, between them, have clocked up many miles in the fast lane. Both of us went out with musicians, didn't we? Yeah, and yeah. We had quite <laughs> traumatic relationships <laughs> with musicians. I know. What do they call a drummer without a girlfriend? <laughs> Homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, Sorry. um... <laughs> so true. So true. Yes. <laughs> I know, Bobby, I know. Tonight, as always, the girls will be joined on air by their dogs, Molly and Matilda, who they insist on involving in absolutely every aspect of their lives. Most of our friends are dog lovers, and I, it's weird, actually, yes, that yes. you see less and less of the people that don't welcome your dog. I know, you? I know. But <laughs> men don't like them on the bed. No. <laughs> so the men sleep on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Do you have sex with the dogs in the room, then? Well, this is what I was saying. Mm, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Do you? I, I have We've done, never yeah. talked about this. No, I know, we haven't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have done actually. Yeah, I mean, with actually Molly on the bed as well. No, yeah. did you too heavy? <laughs> oh my god! Didn't he object? Didn't have a choice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tonight, Joe, Anna, Molly, and Milda have an exciting treat in store for their audience: an interview with bomb disposal sniffer dog Boise and his handler Ray Blackmore. This is much younger. In what promises to be a moment of pure radio gold, Terry and Boise will demonstrate bomb disposal live on air, providing their props don't destroy the studio first. So on air, we'll just say, well, look, for training purposes, we'll, we've got the bag. It's that... been soaked in explosives. It's, Maybe it's, don't say soaked. Just, just, just Can say... you just not say soaked well, in explosives? <laughs> say what you like, but... It, but, but, it's... but don't you say soaked right. in explosives. <laughs> just say that I brought a bag that we use to train yeah, them for with. Training. If you'd said the word explosives on a live show, management would be here like a shot, wouldn't they? So we can tell you what. This is BBC London 93.9 Late Night with Joe Good. It is, of course, Thursday night, which means only one thing. Very soon we will be barking at the moon. Woof, woof, Anna Webb. Woof, woof, Joe Good. Welcome to Barking at the Moon. Have you Yay. had a good day? We've had a great day. We've had a fantastic day. Loving the weather. Now, guess where Matilda is. If I do this, you might hear her snoring. That's Matilda. Unfortunately, she's fast asleep, but also she's very, very excited because we have another dog here in the studio yes, with us. Yes, so we've got three dogs all together in the studio. And he's here with his owner, Terry Blackmore. Hello, Terry. Hello. You are an ex-police dog handler. That's yes. right, isn't yeah. it? And how old is Boise? He's five. When, so when Boise's at home with you, is he like, uh, you know, on the bed and... No. Uh, no? No. <laughs> Dogs like their own space. I know you've got you two have got different ideas, but uh, yeah. well, well, we it, like it yes. We think they need to be, and I they think. need a bit of spoiling, don't you think? Yeah. Well, they do. Get, he, do he does get spoiled. He, get, he gets patted and fed. That'll do. Having carefully concealed his Semtex-scented bag, Terry instructs Boise to show the radio audience what he's got. The, the first thing you do when you start a search off is to make yourself a little bubble. Uh-huh. So you know that we're not under any threat of being blown up, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, OK. I so. I mean, I hope so, absolutely. <laughs> right, Terry's let him off the lead. He's now going around the perimeter of the room steadily. OK, sniffing around some equipment in the corner. He's looking under the table at the moment. Really slowly, he's taking his time, he's being thorough. Terry's asking him again to search around the perimeter, OK, which I guess is this bubble so that, you know, we know that we're safe at the moment. Ah, oh, and, yep, I think he has located the training bag. Now he'll just stand there. He, he, OK, so freeze. he's alerting. This is the alert. He's so, so does he not touch the bag at all? No. 
I don't want to touch no, it. No, 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 and he certainly won't bring it to no. us, Joe. That could be, you know, in a real situation, a bit of a big disaster, if you see what I mean. And um, Matilda has woken up, actually. Oh, she's great. She's, like, quite bemused by all that, really. Yeah, the sort of quite a bit of carrying on Do you there. think a bulldog could ever be trained to do that? No. Why? That was categoric. Well, it, has, it, hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't got the um, olfactory space. Right, yeah. What about Molly? Do you think do you Molly, think Molly might, might sniff no. a dog? No. Oh, it's a bit dismissive, <laughs> Terry. Just, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> you did <laughs> ask. And, and so Boise, his treat for behaving well tonight when he gets home will be what? <laughs> He'll, he'll, he'll get put to bed and I'll sing him a lullaby. Oh, see? Oh, you are soft. soft. Terry Blackmore thank and you, Boise, thank, thank you so much for coming in and joining you. us at Barking at the Moon. Back on the ghost hunt, Simeon...